Fifty years ago, when I began exploring the ocean, it seemed at that time to be a sea of Eden. But now we know we are now facing paradise lost. This trip is absolutely brand new for Ted. We've never done anything like it before. The trip came about because of a wish that Ted granted Sylvia Earle. I hope for your help to explore and protect the wild ocean in ways that will restore the health and, in so doing, secure hope for humankind. Sylvia Earle has devoted her life to this passion of the oceans. And the need for knowledge about all aspects of the environment, whether on the land or on the sea. I've always been a scientist. I am a scientist, but I've been transformed in part, I suppose, by having children and seeing that the places I knew as a child, I can't take them because they're gone. The trip is a bet that if you bring together a group of really remarkable people who are well-resourced, some of the world's greatest marine scientists, some of the world's great storytellers, you put them together and you show them what's happening in the oceans. Something incredible is going to happen. I was raised with a great respect for nature, but I'd never added the ocean to that. And to be able to be in a place like the Galapagos, to actually get into the water and see some of the creatures that we're talking about has changed my life. Getting people to not only understand intellectually, but to know with their hearts that we're so changing the way the world works that our future is at risk. The type of fishing going on today is really wiping bluefin ecologically off the planet. Whale meat being sold in these markets was really dolphin meat, and it was toxic. There's uh, around 100 million sharks caught every year, so this is a, a truly global problem. We're literally sucking like a straw life right out of this planet. And so the idea of hope spots, the idea of protected areas is like, whoa, you know? But it's gotta be big and it's gotta be real and you gotta have people with guns out there to protect it because it sure as hell isn't gonna be protected by wishful thinking or let's all go off and sing Gumbaya. But if we wait another 50 years or even another 10 years, Things we can do now will be gone. There is no more tomorrow that we can avoid confronting. Bobby Jindal has declared a state of emergency because of the spill. What's at stake for the environment as the oil begins to touch land? And to me, crude oil ain't nothing but the devil. Man is destroying the planet. Just like the Bible says. In greed and time, you will destroy your own earth, and that's what's happening. Scientists in Mississippi are trying to gauge the impact of the spill as it starts to spread into the prime habitat of the biggest fish in the Gulf. So these animals are here to feed during this time, and this oil spill is right in their backyard. The they're on death row. If for nothing else good comes of this major spill, it may be to wake up people to say we have to protect the Gulf. There are real issues here of money and power. It's life itself that the ocean is delivering. And we have been abusing the ocean. We haven't been caring for the ocean. Why don't we write to 100 world leaders? There must be some place where these forests of unique creatures can be safe. And Sylvia's timing is perfect. This is that moment. The government is on board. And this bill is not only, we've heard it's the first in the United States, this is the first in the world. We're 100 miles offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. On corals, you're just looking at brown, gunky stuff. A great grand finale for this version of the Alvin. We need every bit of insight that we can muster. The ocean is alive. Without the ocean, life on Earth simply would not exist. I do not want to envision a world for our grandchildren and great-grandchildren that doesn't have orcas. 
that doesn't have hammerhead sharks because we're all connected. I'm here because Sylvia Earle is one of the most remarkable women on earth. She's the real thing. She's a person who has committed herself and everything that that commitment implies. And we need more of that. We have the capacity to protect the systems that keep us alive. We still have a chance, but now is the time.